DeAndre Hopkins is a free agent. He got released from the Cardinals, and um, they were trying to find a trade partner for him. Didn't work out. And now that we're at this point of the season where mini camp has finished and um, all teams will probably report back in the end of uh, July, more than likely, DeAndre Hopkins at this moment of June 15th doesn't have a team. And um, he might be a little bit past his prime, but he's still a reliable number one receiver. He's making insane grabs. He only played, he had to miss half the season for the Cardinals this past this past season and he put up insane numbers so think about think about what he could do even if he's only available for half the season what he could do for a team how much separation he creates how much how much he gets his other teammates open it's it's pretty nice so we're gonna see what it would be like if the chiefs actually went after deandre hopkins so take a look at what the chiefs got for a receiver core Mark, because Juju Smith went to the Patriots, they have Marcus Valdez-Scanling, pretty good receiver. Cordero's Tony, their only first-round receiver, I believe. Maybe Sky Moore, I think, is too. Still have Travis Kelsey, but then backup is Rashi Rice, Richie James, Justin Watson, Justin Ross, Cornell Powell, a bunch of uh, not number one receivers, you know? And think about what DeAndre Hopkins could do if he's implemented into this squad right here. Here we are. DeAndre Hopkins is on the Chiefs. He's wearing number three. He couldn't rep his old college number because other, other players had a uh, number six and number 10. But he wanted to be the humble guy saying he'll take whatever number they give him. And now he's wide receiver one. Still a 95 overall. He's, 30, he's only 30 years old, so he still has a good couple amount of years left. And he's looking pretty good. He's wide receiver one. He has a good supporting cast of Kadarius, Tony, and MVS. While also having Sky Moore and Richie James. So a good a good complimentary round of receivers here. Still have Travis Kelsey, of course. And um, yeah, the offense will be insane with him. And so we already know he's going to do some damage. So I want to see how... I mean, there's no doubt in my mind that they don't make the playoffs, right? They're, 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 they've got to make the playoffs at least. Bro, the Chiefs go 9-8 and eight with having DeAndre Hopkins. Broncos went 9-8, and eight, Chargers went 10-7, and seven, and the Raiders went 10-7. and seven. That is not, that's unreal. That's unreal. In what universe? With the third, offense was third in the league. Third in the league. And f defense was fifth. Patrick Mahomes had 35 touchdowns, 10 picks. That's, that's, that's insane. DeAndre Hawkins, of course, had 1,000 yards, 71 catches. And then Travis Kelsey, 116 catches and, uh, and 1,200 yards. That's, that's, that's actually unbelievable. There, there's no way that the Chiefs go 9-8 and eight and don't even make the playoffs. With the top five offense and defense. That's just Madden simulation. Not trying to not trying to help us out at all. Super Bowl is Bill's Cowboys. So I guess Josh Allen changes things up and finally makes the makes it. Patrick Mahomes isn't even a pro bowler either. So we obviously two was a pro bowler. So we obviously know that things went south. Uh yeah, Travis Kelsey, of course, would make the Pro Bowl, but honestly, that doesn't make sense onto why these guys wouldn't make the playoffs. I mean, yeah, we went nine and eight, but how would the division be this tough? So we're going to send to next season. We're going to make sure DeAndre Hopkins stays on the team. And hopefully this time they can make the playoffs. Bro, hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know everything is tweaking when A.J. Boye went Super Bowl MVP for the Cowboys at cornerback. I didn't even know he was still in the league. Like, what? <laughs> so year two with having DeAndre Hopkins as a Chiefs receiver is uh, with the first season of us going 9-8 and eight was pretty shocking, to say the least. But year two is here. We still have D Hop, Kadarius Tony, MVS, Travis Kelsey, Mahomes gunning to see if we could uh go make it all the way, you know? Like just try to go all the way. Defense still looks pretty great, I'm not gonna lie. And it's time that we make plays and make the freaking playoffs. And um, if not, I'm gonna say DeAndre Hopkins is not a, a good fit for the Chiefs, if that's the case. Bro, we went eight and nine. Bro, there's something wrong. <laughs> there's something wrong. We made the playoffs, but there's literally something wrong. How are we having... Why are we struggling to make the playoffs? And we're facing the Chiefs who are... Th I mean, the Bills who are 13-4. and four. We're talking about Patrick Mahomes <laughs> and the Kansas City Chiefs. There has never been a season in Madden where I simulate and the Chiefs never make the playoffs or struggle to make the playoffs. So how are we the eighth seed? Nonetheless, let's take a look at the stats. See how we did. 23rd offensively. Wow. Wow. Defense went to 19th, so with a worst offense and defense ranking, we made the playoffs. It makes sense. It makes sense. Diop, another great season, 81 catches, 1,100 yards, and 14 touchdowns. And then Travis Kelsey, he went sick again as well, too. 
So DeAndre Hopkins has been consistent, but he's not really fitting gelling with the team because him being on a squad is making things difficult. But we're facing the Josh Allen and the Bills. Let's see how that's looking like with D-Hop on there. Third and two. I see we got D-Hop to the right. You know I want to test him on this third down. Look for him. Boom. Bro. Okay. We are pretty much getting spanked right now. I tried to throw it to D-Hop on that play. Didn't work. This is a play action. D-Hop one-on-one. -on -one. I think he should definitely take this. And he, do he doesn't. He doesn't. D-Hop, great catch. So, compl pass completion to Mahomes to uh, D-Hop was there. We got to see if we get a touchdown on this drive. We're going to try to help, help them out, of course. P.I., P.I., thank you, P.I. Oh, my gosh. What a catch by D-Hop, yo. Oh, my. Yo, this, him one-on-one -on -one is just such a cheat code. One-on-one -on -one again. Oh, he got double teamed, and he almost still made the play. Oh, yeah. Touchdown, MBS. We're on the board. So let's see if Simulation can handle the job and uh, help these guys. <laughs> so they're back in the game. They're up 21 to 20. They've got the ball. Oh, my gosh. Is this a Mahomes comeback? This is looking like a Mahomes comeback right now. They're up 31 to 20. We literally made the comeback after literally getting spanked. That's insane. That's insane. So we ended up beating the Bills 31 to 20. Great comeback from us because we were it wasn't looking too good. We were down we were down like 17-0 early. But Mahomes threw four touchdowns. That's that Mahomes stuff I'm talking about, dude. He just goes off. Diop, I mean Stefan Diggs went off, but so did Diop. Diop did not care. So that's that's just crazy. That's just crazy. So playoff magic is here. Um let's see who they face. They face the 15 and 2 Colts who have Anthony Richardson and and Jonathan Taylor. This should be interesting to see who takes this. We ended up winning 24 to 21. And then we're facing Joe Burrow and the Bengals as always. So always we're going to be facing them. One of our starting corners just broke his thumb. So if we win this game, we'd get him back for the Super Bowl. We're going to see who takes this game. We ended up winning 35 to 21. So we're now in the Super Bowl. Okay, so Super Bowl against the Rams. The Mahomes magic is real. The Mahomes magic is really real. <laughs> That's... That, that is wild to me. But new ability unlocked, Trent McDuffie. We, we don't care about who's in the Pro Bowl because we're in the Super Bowl, baby. We're facing the Rams. They are 13-4. and four. They have Aaron Donald and Matthew Stafford. I'm just going to simulate this, see what happens. And it looks like DeAndre Hopkins wins his first Super Bowl <laughs> with, with the Chiefs. In the second year, Matt Patrick Mahomes wins Super Bowl MVP. That is insane. That is insane. We went from eight and nine, went from the last seed to just winning the Super Bowl. That makes sense. That makes sense. It's a Chiefs. It's a Chiefs franchise, right? It took two seasons just for DeAndre Hopkins to win the Super Bowl, right? Now he's got a ring. He's gonna ride off into the sunset. Uh, yeah, that that happened. <laughs> that happened against Anthony Richardson. Mahomes just played better. Like he just literally played better. They have a great rush attack, but DeAndre Hopkins nine catches, eighty eight yards, two touchdowns in that game against the Bengals. Cole, they have Cole Komet. They have a great squad. DeAndre Hopkins was non-existent, but Travis Kelsey did his thing. Travis Kelsey did his thing. They locked down DeAndre Hopkins to three catches, 28 yards. But another insane matchup between Joe Burrow and Patrick Mahomes, who both threw three touchdowns. But Joe Burrow got sacked four times. So sacks, getting sacked is still a problem. And then in the Super Bowl against the Rams, the Rams starter QB is J Jacoby Brissett, who had two touchdowns. And Mahomes had two touchdowns as well. Great games by both guys. Rushing tech was kind of non-existent. Cooper Cup went sick, of course. DeAndre Hopkins had a touchdown in the Super Bowl. Three catches, 53 yards. And then Travis Kelsey went sick as well. But we ended up winning. We ended up winning. And so it looks like DeAndre Hopkins to the Chiefs was a success.